What's up everyone? Welcome back to TSW4 and we are going to be doing a scenario today on the brand new LIRR from New York to Long Beach, Hempstead and Hicksville route and we're doing a scenario called Metropolitan Mover. Bring a train of M3 units into public service. Let's hop right in and let's do this. Welcome to the Hillside Maintenance Facility. In support of services operating from Jamaica, we need you to form up a six car unit of M3 traction. So I'm assuming that this is going to be our train here. Sit in the engineer seat. All right, so we have two out of the six we have right now. Go to climb up these steps, shut the door, hop into our engineer seat here. All right, it is raining today, as you guys can see. So turn the master key to on. You go right into neutral. What are you? to dim and marker lights to off I don't we can just leave the marker lights on it doesn't matter so put it to max break charge these till they get to 90 psi yard features manually operated track switches be sure to check and set any required switches to reach the indicated locations tenfold there's the wipers that we're gonna need you probably need to go to bright. It is raining. I can barely see. With this unit operational, move out to the head shunt in order to reach the other unit that will form this train. Okay. So put you into forward. So we got about 4,000 feet till we reach Hillside East Shunt. Look how dark and foggy it is outside. Man, that is insane. That is really insane. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today so far. This is one of my very many back burner videos. Um, funny thing is, I actually did do this with the original LIRR. Um, DLC that I believe it came with uh, this game or TSW 3 or something. I don't remember which one But unfortunately that video had to get scrapped because there were no Game audio and OBS showed that it was picking up game audio, but apparently there was no game audio We go in the proper way looks like it cool So that was a major bummer, but then thankfully this new uh, DLC came out and it featured the same exact uh, scenario. So I'm like, you know what? We can redo these over. We'll have them completed for the old one. And now we'll have them completed for the new one. So, I mean, obviously I do know exactly where we're going, what we're picking up and everything, but it's nice to play pretend. Obviously, I don't remember all the switches and stuff. So let's go ahead and head to our map here. So we're moving over here. And I think they want us right there. No, they want us all the way over here. Very interesting why they want us all the way down there. But then again, that is the shunt. Because probably for like the six or seven, eight, nine, ten car consist. Turn on safety systems. How do I do that? Door breaker, signaling system breaker, ATC breaker. So the ATC is off, it looks like. I don't know how to turn it on. I don't think we really need to turn it on. Lights, door control, marker lights, lights. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we'll need to turn it on. Cab light would be nice. So there are the switch there. Looks like we got a service moving its way. 
right in front of us there. Really can't see it. All you can really see is the marker lights on that unit. We do got an approach signal, it looks like. This unit is equipped with the new ATC system, which displays a 15 MPH aspect with no code condition. Refer to specific instructions to 1401-C and 1402-A modified units. Alright, looks like all of these are set properly. That looks like a M3 set, quite possibly. Could be an M7. No, it's an M. No, it's a three. I can't tell. Nope, it's an M7. Definitely an M7 set. Going to be coming up behind this platform here. People are probably wondering why this one's not stopping, but we're only a two car train at the moment. Got about 800 feet left to go till all we reach our uh, stop here. Kind of surprised that uh, the MPH isn't showing on there. You know what? We're going to go ahead and turn that ATC off because I don't need it. There we go. Perfect. Set the master controller to emergency. Headlights off, marker lights to on. And key out, and then obviously take the key out. Head to the indicated car and sit in the engineer seat. Oh, probably should turn that cab light off. So can I open this door? Oh, I can. So here's a look at the M3, everybody. I don't think we've actually showcased this off uh, before. I'm going to go in between the cars here. And let me guess, we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. Yes, we are. There's another train going through right now. I think we're I think we're in Jamaica, if I'm not mistaken. Set the switch to access the correct track. You know, it's raining. We're gonna do this the easy way. That's the set we're picking up. Tracks are aligned properly. Let's couple to that M4 car formation. Turn on the safety systems to receive additional points, yada, yada, yada. I'm okay with that. I'm not worried about the safety system because we're literally a yard uh, engineer. So how does that buzzer work? But that, oh, I wonder. No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why one buzzer works and the other one doesn't. Go ahead and turn on the wipers here. They're gonna leave in like will it let me open the doors? No, I think we have to be stopped. Yeah, I think we have to actually be stopped. Oh well, that's a good thing though. Got that 10 coming up, so we're going to go ahead and start slowing this bitch down. There we go. I think I see the formation that we're hooking up to, possibly. I think it's that one right there. No, it's behind it. Oh, there it is. I see it. You can't really see it in the fog, but there it is. I do see the 
formation we're hooking up to. And then how much you want to bet? We're going to have to go from here into the next train set to go all the way to that back uh, cab car. All right, so we're about to run into this set here. Oh, that was a big boom. <laughs> we messed that we messed that up real bad. <laughs> All right, emergency. You did off. Marker lights don't need anything. You at key out. Turn you out. So is that all we do? We don't have to connect no air hoses or nothing. I'll take it. Like I said, we're going to have to go all the way back to this uh, cab here. But no air hoses. Interesting. Unless they just automatically do themselves. Can I pull the emergency brake? No. Emergency ladder in the lavatory. Unless it's in there. Oh, so this is the handbrake. Interesting. Okay, cool. Would have never actually guessed that that was the handbrake. We have one more car to go through, don't we? Yes, we do. All right, let's go ahead and do this all over again. Master key to on. Put you to neutral. Put you to dim, even though they want you to dim. Turn off the marker lights. Put you down to bright. Put you in the max brake. Charge the dang brakes. With a six car unit formed up, it can now be operated over to Jamaica Station to enter public service. Turn on that wiper. That would make sense. That's a neutral, so I can't do anything with that just yet. There we go. Now I can. Stop at the yard exit signal. About 4,000 feet. This unit is equipped with a new ATC daily departure test. Interesting. I have no idea what that means. Here is a look at our six car M3 unit consist. Those headlights are very bright for what we're dealing with here. We got number board lights on the sides. Very nice, very foggy as well. You still can't really see much of anything, but there's that M7 consist right there don't think we're gonna see any m9s in this scenario that i'm aware of i don't think we are but we're gonna have to stop so i could check the switch here looks like it's good go double check both of these switches here which is in lined up for our movement. Looks like there's an express train right there. This switch is not lined up for our movement whatsoever. Be able to climb back up the front here or do we have to go in through the side? All right, we can climb up, cool. Shut that so that nothing gets wet. All right.
So our next three switches are set properly. Let's go ahead and head to our next one. Looks like we got a 90 coming up here. I don't think I'm going to be going 90 miles an hour since we still have the yard exit signal coming up in about 2,900 feet. Yep, I did not check this switch. Here's a sound of the horn here. Let's go ahead and check this real fast. Then we have another switch. So this one's not lined up for us either. So good thing I'm checking these. This one I don't know about. Am I supposed to be going to this track? Yes. So I'm supposed to go up to there. And then I have no idea where else I'm supposed to go after this. I actually, like I said, I, I know I did this scenario, but I actually forgot if we're supposed to just stop at that location or if we're actually supposed to take it to a platform. This is supposed to take us like 20 minutes to do, but I, I think it's going to take us a little bit longer. I was going to say, we had that 90, now we have another 15 coming up with an approach signal. I'm going to take a wild guess and say the stop signal is where um, the yard exit signal is. Got that nice six car consist following us here. Very cool, very cool stuff indeed. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Definitely does let me know if you guys do enjoy the content and um, may, lets me know if I should put out more future content of the same game. Change some stuff up, whichever. Do make sure you hit the like button and if you hit the dislike button, don't just hit it and leave. Let me know exactly why you hit it so that I can improve. I always like your guys' feedback. I was expecting the window to go down. I was not expecting it to go up or to the side. All right, we got an approach here. 1,500 feet till our uh, stop signal. Signal 5C. Oh, there's an M3 consist right there. Right, 1,100 feet left to go. Denied, no route available. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna stop here at the signal, I guess. And you gotta say, for how dim it is, those headlights are very freaking bright. I do have to say. 620 feet coming to a stop here. I was gonna say, are we able to charge the brakes anymore? I don't think so. You guys can hear the horn there a little bit. There is no bell. There's just the buzzer. What you can't hear from the outside. So there's our stop signal. Uh, looks like an approach to me, but good thing the HUD says stop because there's no signal thingy in here. So they want us to stop right on the, the crossover? That's interesting. I 
I think we are good to stop. Yard exit signal. Stop at Jamaica. Proceed as signals indicate. So where are we supposed to go? So it looks like all switches are set properly now. Go ahead and make our way through the yard here. It looks like I think we're going to be heading up to the main line, which it looks like we are. Proceed as signals indicate. We'll do just that for you, dispatcher man. I don't know who said this was going to take 20 minutes, but it's definitely not taking 20 minutes, that's for sure. I wonder if we're going to be cleared to run 80 once we our uh, end of this train here clears the 80 MPH zone. And we are clear to run 80. Heck yeah. Let's go ahead and put these back to bright. Got multiple approach signals, looks like. Then we do have that 15 coming back up, so we shall uh, hold off for that. Got it to about 48. Now we're going to start slowing it back down to 15. Yeah, 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 I know we're over speed. Luckily, it's not going to hit us with an emergency brake application. There we go. Driving significantly over speed limit. Yeah, I had a feeling we weren't going to get no uh, points for that. But it is what it is. There's a nice little M7 set right there just chilling. And here we are, coming into Jamaica. Can't even see the platform. That's how bad this is. I cannot even see the platform. So I wonder if that was a set that's got a malfunction with it. And that's why they're calling us to bring this train here and we're going to bring that train back. I wonder if that's that's what's going to happen. Oh, here is the platform. I'm hoping yeah, we still do we're still going to need the wipers. It looks like it is an open platform. Welcome, 409. Don't know when the service is going to leave. Probably around 430-ish. Everybody on board. Everything working. Everything was, uh, um, everything worked properly. So, uh, brought it into the yard from the maintenance facility. They gave it a good to go. So now we are going to let the new engineer take this down to wherever they go down to. Right. So let's do that. Good work. Open the doors and allow boarding to commence. Oh. 
Hold on, hold on, everybody. We opened up the wrong thing. Hold on, everybody. I meant to put it in this one, and I'm like, hold on, hold on. How are we supposed to get to this? Did we unlock them? Heck yeah, we did. So is the new engineer going this way or is the new engineer going the opposite direction? Because I'm kind of confused by that. So we're just going to shut everything off for him. And yeah. Well done. Another engineer will take over from here. Let's see how you did. Get off this train before he shows up. Oh, look, another M3 set. Gotta love it, man. Here's a look, final look of our M-T-A-L-I-R-R -R M3. Ooh, we lost 190 points for speeding. We did get a, no, we did not do a hard impact. Left vehicle unsafely, ouch. So we are level 10 for our profile, level 2 for the new L-I-R-R -R, uh, DLC, and level 4 for the M3. All right, guys. Well, that is going to go ahead and do it for this one. I'll catch you guys here in the next episode. Take care, everyone.